Well, hello. Sorry about that. Uh, Lucy Keller here. Lucy Kelleher here, your local close to my heart consultant. It is June something, June 18th. It's uh, a Thursday. I keep thinking it's Friday and yet it's not, but it's Friday Eve, as a friend of mine just told me. And I'm here with another episode of Craft with Lucy. And this is episode 13, so it's lucky 13. And we're going to make another card today. And just so you know, I don't always just make cards. Um, though you wouldn't know it by my lives, I will be doing other types of crafty events. We just happen to be working on Aurora right now. And we're going to make another card out of the Aurora workshop. And this is what that card looks like. And let's see if you can tell. There's some shimmer on there. So we're going to have some fun with this. This is uh, the sentiment is you mean the world to me. This comes from the Aurora card, work, card making workshop. Uh, from Close to My Heart, which is a full-on kit, has everything you need except for the ink. And you get a exclusive stamp set, which you can see here, has four different sentiments. Sending smiles across the miles, you mean the world to me. You color my world, spelled two different ways. Pretty pennant, some clouds, uh, a couple of stars and hearts and arrows, and then a dotted line here that you can add to a project. What's really nice about our Workshop Your Way kits, not only do you have the project that you make where you have in this particular one, 16 cards for each of four designs, but you also get some products in here that can be used after you finish. In this particular kit, you're gonna get this stamp set along with this exclusive thin cut set. So you'll see there's a circle, which you can use on so many things. Uh, two different types of globes or worlds, and then also a pennant. Okay, that coordinates also with this so that these sentiments fit perfectly right inside the pennant banner. And um, you can also put other sentiments in there. All right, you also then get these instructions, which is amazing. So it takes all the guesswork um, out of putting these cards together. There's a cutting guide that you can also use for other projects. So if you like the setup of a particular card and you are a set of cards and you want to make the same card using the papers you have already at home, then you just follow the uh, cutting guide here and cut your papers the same way. And then it also shows us how to put the cards together. We're going to put together card number four. So I'm going to set this aside. For this project, we're also going to have charcoal, peacock, and glacier ink. I'm going to be using a shimmer pen, and this is, I believe, is mint. Um, in the kit, you're also going to get a pack of silver glitter gems. We're going to use that. So I'm going to bring this over into view. This is a standard A2 size card, uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our background paper. Uh, our design designer pattern paper is a, it's double sided. And so you'll see there's a pattern like this and there's a pattern like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the um, constellation side, but you can also use the arrow side. I'm going to flip that over, and I'm using our Versa mat. I also have a different kind of a mat uh, that you can use for adhesives, but, you know, for tonight, this isn't too bad. I'm using our Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. It is liquid, and so I don't have to go all the way to the edges because it'll smoosh out. Um, if you're on tonight live, please feel free to say hi and let me know where you're from. And honestly, if you're watching on replay, I'd love for you to comment below and let me know where you are as well. I'm going to go ahead and take this piece. This piece of paper was cut, uh, let's see here, three and three quarters by five. Okay. Now what I like about using a grid mat underneath my cards or my projects is it kind of helps me line stuff up. So if you don't want to pull out a ruler or anything like that, you can just line up and then eyeball centering this piece. So I'm pretty darn close here. Go ahead and lay that there. Okay. Then we have two circles that we cut out using our thin cut for this set. Close to my heart paper is two-toned. There's a light and a dark side. You can see this side's a little darker. This side's a little lighter. That is our, um, let's see here, that is our sage paper. And then this here is glacier. And again, you'll see a lighter side and a darker side. For the sage circle, we're actually going to use the light side. So as I flip this over, you can see that's a little darker. 
And I'm going to use our charcoal ink to stamp the three hearts on this circle. And the heart is one of the stamps you get in this exclusive stamp set that only comes with the kit. And I'm just going to take it and stamp three. There's all these design elements, and they always have odd numbers, so you wouldn't stamp two, you wouldn't stamp four, you'd stamp three or five. So there you go, I'm just going to add that, again, using the charcoal ink. So that's that circle. For my other circle made out of glacier, I'm going to use this globe. This is the thin cut image we cut using, let's see here, this thin cut. You use a cuddle bug or a Sizzix or whatever... Um, kind of machine that you have to use that, to use thin cuts. So here's this, and as you can see, as I put this on here, I don't know if you can tell, that's lighter than this paper. If I go here, it's almost the same color. And again, that's up to you and your choice of when you design this. I'm gonna use the light on the dark. I'm gonna go ahead and put some adhesive right here. So how's everybody's week been going? I tell you, I kept all day long, I've been thinking today is Friday, and it's really disappointing that it's not. <laughs> so, and I don't know, I, I'd like to just go ahead and blame it on uh, COVID and, you know, being sheltering in place all this. But honestly, I do this regularly where I'm always thinking it's the day, it's a different day than it is. So I hope you've been spending some time crafting um, as you can, because this, I know this makes me happy to make stuff. And then when I make stuff, if they're cards, finding people to bless my cards with. You know, we're also used to getting junk mail and bills in the mail and coupons. And then when you get a nice envelope that has a handwriting on it and you open it up and it's a hand a handmade card, it just is so nice. I mean, you just feel so thought of, so nicely thought of, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. I'm going to come down about an inch. So when I use my grid pad underneath here... See if you can see here, it's over at the nine inch, and so an inch down is about eight. So it's going to go right about there, and I'm going to circle or um, turn the circle so the hearts are just a little bit off to the side. So, when was the last time you got a card um, in the mail uh, that was a handmade card? I actually got one about a week ago from my amazing upline who lives in Utah. She sent me a card. It was just so sweet, and it made me so happy. Not only was it a beautiful handmade card, but it was one I didn't make, <laughs> so that made it even better. Um, and she was just really sweet, and I just love the Close to My Heart family and all the people that I've met in Close to My Heart. There's some amazing men and women in this company uh, that are consultants, but also at home office um, as well, and... I've known Sherry, that's one of my upline. I've known her now for almost 15 years. That's how long I've been with the company. And she is just always the nicest person. This second uh, globe or map, this is gonna come down about an inch and a half. So as you can see here, we're at nine, that's eight. So eight and a half is right about there. So I'm just gonna drop it down and come in about a half an inch. Eh, maybe a little more. So I'm gonna plop that down here. Okay. So there you go. Then I'm going to take the banner. And this banner, again, was cut using the thin cuts. With, I think on the card that I showed you, I actually used charcoal. On this card, though, I'm actually going to use glacier um, because this paper is glacier to make it kind of fit a little bit better. And I've got our, let's see here. Here it is. I'm using a clear block. And remember, with our clear blocks and clear stamps, what's great about it is, unlike in the old days when we had wooden stamps, couldn't tell where we were placing things. Here, it makes it so easy to see how to place a stamp. So I'm going to go ahead and ink that up with Glacier. And again, going up and down, uh, trying not to rock. If you rock, ink will get on the edges of your block. And then when you stamp, if you accidentally rock, the stamp on your image, you're going to get ink in places that you didn't want. So I'm going to go ahead and line this up, drop it down straight, and then lift up. And as you can see right there, it's pretty decent on point. It's a little off over here, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. All right, next up, I'm going to stamp the image. Now, if you don't like this image in the set for this particular card, you can also send uh, stamp sending smiles across the miles. 
You Color My World, or if you have other sentiments, you can use those. Let's see here. Let me make sure I'm lining this up correctly. It was the other way. So I'm going to use Peacock for this one. And I don't know if you can hear that noise. Our ink pads are magnetic. So cool. No, no more of that swivel turn stuff going on that was always so difficult. And I know I'd always catch my hand or it would get stuck. So let's see here. Make sure the sentiment is up correctly. Go ahead, ink that up in Peacock. I'm going to go ahead and line it up. Normally I'd put a foam pad under this because it's a sentiment. I don't really have too much of a problem in stamping. So again, straight down, back up. Go ahead and close this up. Then I want to go ahead and pop this up a little bit. So I'm going to use our 3D foam tape. We have 3D foam tape that is on a strip as well as dots. I'm going to go ahead and use the strip just because it's easier. You can cut the strip or just tear it right no one sees the back anyways so it doesn't really matter and so you can tell right here i actually got a little bit on there um it hangs over a little bit so i'm just going to take my scissors and let's see here just cut it off so that you can't see it there you go so 3d foam tape gives it a little extra dimension can i pop that oh right about there at an angle then before i add the chevrons here on the bottom i'm going to go ahead and take this mint shimmer brush and i'm kind of going to give it what's called a wash over the words just to give it a little something something as a friend of mine used to say so i just dough that over and i don't know if you can tell but this shimmer brush has glitter in it and it just adds a little extra to the image let's see here if i can bring it close enough so you can see so it's got that wash there. It's got some glitter that you can really tell in person. You could do this one of two ways. If you decide to do the wash first, let it dry, then ink on it. This time I inked first and then put the wash over it. And um, yeah, so it's a really kind of cool look. Then I've got two pieces of half inch by one and three quarters. And that's a zip strip, which is the top of our paper pack, so you can reuse that, that paper. And I'm going to go ahead and make it into a little chevron, I think is what it's called. And just by folding it, cutting from corner to corner. And again, on this piece, I'm not folding it so there's an actual seam. I'm just folding it enough in a loose fashion so that I can just cut it to make that little arrow. Then I'm going to go ahead and take this with my adhesive. Oh, get that down there. And I'm going to put this on the card about, oh, let's see here. The directions say about half an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and follow that because I think that's a good placement. So that's the bottom of the card. A half inch is right about there. So I'm going to put that, line it up with the edge of that paper. And then I'm going to take, this is sapphire paper. And you do get a bit, piece of 12 by 12 sapphire cardstock in your paper pack or in your workshop kit. And again, it's two tone. There's one side. Then you can see this side's a little darker. And I'm going to use the darker side because we're going to add some bling to this. And if you recall, I said earlier, in this kit, you are going to get a pack of silver glitter gems to use. And the directions say to pull, put this about a quarter inch from the bottom of that one. So I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball that, pop that down there. So you get a full pack of glitter gems. Even after you make all 16 of these cards, you're going to have some leftovers. So that's really nice. The glitter gems are going to come in a small, each pack comes with a sheet of large gems as well as smaller ones. We're going to take and put two small ones right here. And again, these are adhesive already, so you're not going to have to use uh, any glue to put them down. Um, I actually usually have a, uh, oh, I don't have it here. Um, oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's a different tool, <laughs> so I'm just going to use scissors to slide it off. And I'm trying to make sure I get the adhesive with the gem. There it is. And I'm going to place it right there on the card, slide it down just a little bit because I'm going to put another one there. 
Uh, let's slide this off again. Pick it up. Whoops. Oh, there it is on my hand again. There you go. And place it right there. Oh, wow. I couldn't was perfectly placed enough to move it. So there you go. Another cute little card using the Aurora card making workshop. We are going to, um, this kit is only going to be available until the end of the month. And we actually have a live event that's coming up uh, next Tuesday, which I'm going to say is the 23rd uh, from, I believe it's one o'clock Pacific time where if you've got this kit, we're doing a walkthrough of how to make all of the cards. Um, it's a live event that's going to be on the Close to My Heart official Facebook page. Um, you don't have to purchase anything to attend. Um, if you don't have this kit and you just want to see how it's made and get some great tips and techniques about how to do things, click go. I'll put the um, link in this post. And once you mark going, you're actually entered into all the giveaways that Close to My Heart does. And they're very, very generous with their giveaways. And so you don't have to buy anything to either participate or to be entered into the giveaway. If you do want to make the cards we're making exactly rather than using your own paper and stamp products, um, I'll have a link in my post of where to purchase the products and you can check out what that looks like. And, you know, if you want to get a uh, discount, a 22% discount on your products, just like a Forever Always Hobby Lobby or Michael's coupon, you can always become a consultant and join the family and um, use the discount to get all of your products, or excuse, yeah, use the discount to get all of your products at a discount. Um, I actually did that for the first five years of being a close to my heart consultant and it was awesome because every day i got something on sale so if you want any information about that just let me know uh thanks so much for stopping by on my facebook live happy friday eve uh please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or just let me know how you like the card thanks so much have a great evening Bye bye